Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff. Welcome back to Microbiology on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In this video, we're going to be discussing the lipase test, sometimes called spirit blue agar test, because that's the agar on which this test is done. Before we get into all the details of how this test is run and interpreting the results, let's go into a little bit of the theory and understand what a lipase even is. So first of all, triglycerides, sometimes called triacylglycerols, these are compounds that are composed of a glycerol backbone, and that glycerol is esterified to three fatty acids. Let's take a look at the chemical structure right here. So over on the left side over here, we see three carbon atoms. So these three carbon atoms, these are the carbons of glycerol, and these oxygens right here, this one, the second one and this third one, these three are still a part of glycerol. Now you can see that on each one of these oxygen atoms, there's an ester bond to a fatty acid tail. And you can see each of these fatty acids is different. That really doesn't matter. For example, up here, we have a saturated fatty acid. The second one is a monounsaturated fatty acid. And the last one is a polyunsaturated fatty acid. Again, the identity of these doesn't matter. What composes a triglyceride or a triacylglycerol is the fact that we got three fatty acids esterified to this glycerol backbone. Okay. Now, these fatty acids on the triglyceride can be removed from the glycerol backbone and be metabolized for energy, or they can be used as a carbon source. And it turns out that lipases are going to be enzymes that break off these fatty acids one at a time, and it's going to release those fatty acids to be able to be used as a carbon source or energy. So let's actually look and see how lipases react sequentially with a triacylglycerol, or TAG. So if we have the reaction with one lipase, it may remove this fatty acid right here. So for example, this polyunsaturated fatty acid is removed, and we're left with a diacylglycerol. So now the diacylglycerol will react again with a lipase, and it will cleave off this second fatty acid. Again, that one goes away. And now we're left with a monoacylglycerol. And once more, the monoacylglycerol can react with the lipase, and the lipase will cleave off the final fatty acid. So basically with this, what you see is three fatty acids become removed from the triacylglycerol, and then we're left with this glycerol backbone. And again, all three of these fatty acids can be used for energy production, or they can be used as a carbon source. Again, these can be metabolized. So let's talk about the lipase test. So we want to determine whether or not bacteria have this enzyme lipase. And so testing for these lipases is done on spirit blue agar, or any agar which is rich with triglycerides. So up here you can see a flow chart. So the triglycerides which are present in the agar are going to complex with this indicator. Indicator, remember, can change colors to indicate where something is or where it's not. So the triglycerides, when they complex with spirit blue, they turn, well, blue. And you can see this agar down here at the bottom. Again, it's pretty much all blue except where we have the streaks of bacteria. Now, over on the left here, we're going to have the condition where we have a lipase negative bacteria, meaning it does not express lipase. On the right, this is going to be the condition where these bacteria do express lipase. They're going to be lipase positive. So if we have a bacteria that does not express lipase, are they going to be able to break down these triglycerides to release these fatty acids? Well, no, they're not going to be able to break them down. So the triglycerides are going to remain there, meaning that they're not going to see any removal of triglycerides around the bacterial streak. However, if we do have bacteria that express lipase, they are going to be able to break down the triglycerides. Now remember, the triglycerides are the only thing that complex with spirit blue. The fatty acids and the glycerol that are released from hydrolysis by the enzyme, they do not complex with the spirit blue. And so therefore, any region around a bacterial streak where the triglycerides have been broken down by the lipase, it will no longer be blue, and you'll actually see this halo that surrounds the bacterial streak. So if I see a halo around this streak, 
that means that this bacteria is lipase positive. And again, we also call that a zone of clearing or a halo, but that indicates lipase is present in the bacteria. And the key here to remember is that only the triglycerides complex with spirit blue. So if blue remains around that streak, there's no lipase because they're not breaking down the triglyceride. If there is a zone of clearing or a halo around the streak, that means that the triglycerides were broken down. And in this zone of clearing, you actually really have glycerol and fatty acids or free fatty acids. Okay? And those do not complex with the indicator. And so therefore, it's not blue. It is clear. Here's another look at what we have here for the lipase test. This one on the right, this is specifically the spirit blue agar. And what you see over here, this right here on the top, is the positive lipase species. So if you look at this streak right here, there is a clear zone of clearing or a halo around that streak. Now if you look here at the negative one, it sure is cloudy around this streak. That's probably because there's some growth. Uh, however, there is no halo around this streak. If you look very carefully, again, this one on the top, there's a clear halo around that. Over here on the left, this is not spirit blue agar, but this is another uh, type of agar that can be used to test for lipases. It just doesn't have the indicator. But even so, this positive species on the top here, you can see that halo around that pretty clearly. The negative species on the bottom, there is no halo around it. And so in either case here, if you see that halo, you know you have a positive lipase organism. So hopefully this video gave you a good understanding of the lipase test. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you.